Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today, I want to get started on this three cover series that I've got. Uh, this was a commission 
done by a uh, good friend of mine. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be quite a task. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like here. This thing took me forever to figure out the layout and how I wanted to do it and penciled, but uh, I think the end result looks pretty pretty damn good. So I'm gonna get started on Morbius today. Um, so yeah, let's get busy. I'd like to try a few new techniques on this ink in this. One thing is for the background, but I haven't quite decided on whether or not I want to do it with ink or if I want to do it with color. Um, I kind of figure that out as, like, as we go. How's everybody doing tonight? Say hi in the chat, ask me any questions. I'm probably going to use this brush pen for most of his hair. Um, because his hair is kind of black. But I am going to put some highlights in it. You share in the neighbor, neighborhood group. Cool. Now, this is the first time I've ever drawn Morbius. I've been wanting to do him for a while. But I uh, just haven't really had the chance. I was kind of glad that when he sent me the commission that Morbius was one of the characters. Currently, am accepting commissions. Um, I try to make it as easy as possible. You just go to my website, uh, go to my store. You can pick out which sketch cover you want. Tell me what character you want, and uh, purchase it right there. Makes it easy. I'm going to eventually have that same option for 11 by 17 commissions as well. <clears throat> hey, John, how you doing, man? Yeah, I've been waiting for Morbius for a while. I was really happy as soon as I seen the, uh, his commission come through my email. I seen it said Morbius. I was like, sweet. <laughs> Exactly what I've been wanting to do. <clears throat> I'll probably do another one that's more of a full body version of them.
You need to get you a webcam, John. You can pop on here. We can draw together, man. Babe. I've heard some artists say that hair is the easiest thing, but for some reason, I don't know why, but hair has always been the biggest pain for me. And it's mainly what the light does to the hair is what makes it a pain. But getting used to it. Learning more and more every time. Maybe in the near future. <laughs> Bro, we're all starving artists. Trust me. I, uh, I'm going to be in looking for a full time job here soon. Um, I love doing this, this stuff, but. Yeah, got a house payment, got a family to take care of. So, and this isn't exactly putting a bunch of money in our account. Wish it would. I would love to just be able to sit here and do this all day. But unfortunately, it uh, it isn't. That's all right. I'm still not giving up on it. Still going to do it. Just not going to be as much as I do now. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it doesn't make you appreciate the time you have to draw, but I know when I was working for Magnani, um, doing their design work and stuff, and I'd come home, you know, doing art all day, you know, whether it be photography or design, constantly using your brain when you come home, you're just, you're brain dead. Uh, my wife can contest to that. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, there were some times I'd come home and she'd ask me a simple question. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to answer. Um, so that's the thing that kind of sucks about it is, you know, you're kind of using all your creative juice during the day. Um, 
I was thinking about maybe getting like a physical job, something like that, something where I'm not really using any creative mind. And, uh, yeah, kind of sucks because I'm old. My body's pretty much broke down. So a lot of physical things I wouldn't even be able to do. Which is nobody's fault but my own. Never really took care of myself. Yep. John, you're right. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wow. I actually like the way the hair looks. So far. <laughs> yeah, John, trust me. Um, I've fallen asleep in front of my computer desk. I can't tell you how many times. Uh, a couple times my wife's actually caught me. Um, yeah. Been there, buddy. Some of these design jobs I have, you know, the deadlines are so tight, stuff needs to be done, and you got to pull all nighters sometimes. Be up until four, five, six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. All right, this thing is not flowing ink very well. There we go. Add some details here. Hey, Bill, how you doing, buddy? Awesome. Uh, this commission that I'm doing is actually for uh, Bill Rose here.
hear a thought about designing your own super. Yeah, I'm actually doing my own book right now, Ian Juice. Um, it's not going to be out anytime soon. Probably not until October is when I'm wanting to have it out. But uh, yeah, I'm doing one, doing my own. Awesome. Yeah, Bill. Send them my way. I love drawing Venom. I'll draw Venom all day long. One of my favorite characters. I think I'm getting to the point that I might need to start using the Tombow. I love using these Tombos. It's the only pen I've ever used that's the closest to a brush, but the only downfall to them is when they go dry, they go dry quick. Um, I've ruined a couple of things relying on whether or not they're good and saturated or dry. I mentioned this in my last video. Um, all the supplies that I use, I have a link in the description below that'll take you to my website and it has a list of all the supplies that I use. So if you ever hear me mention Tombow or, which I always butcher this name, it's like Nua, Nua Tank. Nua Tank, it's a Japanese brand, I don't know. Um, if you ever hear me mention these pins, uh, all of it's in the description. Drink break.
His ears are kind of crazy, like bad ears. Now you back there, babe? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> now, I was looking for... Uh, the pit pins. Give some of those a try. Uh, they're down in here somewhere. Copics. Here they are. You need to organize your crap. Yeah, I know. I need to organize it. Fine, medium. Just don't rip it. I'm not going to. Well, these are the same pens that Kyle uses all the time. And I never really have tried them too much. So, give them a try. <laughs> I heard it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how many people watched the uh, last drawing session I did. I was trying on a new thing. I wanted to promote some of the local bands that I've done work for. So I figured I'd play their music, obviously get the permission to play the music while I was drawing. Well, Facebook doesn't like that, even if you have permission. So now I can't do it. I don't know if I like them. <laughs> see what the C is. Oh, that's a chisel tip. 
medium. It's a small. Let's check out the small. Oh, I like the small tip. It might be. <clears throat> well he posted a picture the other day and he had a tombow sitting on his his desk I'm filling a lot of the blocks with this uh, new tank. Make it a little bit quicker. Are you whispering back there? Peanut butter Oreos are really biscuit. <clears throat> That's what happens when you have teenage kids in the house. Like that matters. Yep. I'd be more than happy to go into that school. I'll probably never be allowed back, but I'll be more than happy to go in there. Not many. Two on Facebook, one on Twitch. <laughs> I don't think the Hilliard moms are going to want to watch this. No, but they may have be like me and have a husband that's into this crap. Sorry, guys, it's not crap, but you know what I mean. Often than not, do I have 
Friday when it comes to the comic related gifts. Usually, yeah. I know this is going to take me a while. I want to spend as much time as I can on it. Take my time on it, because... Yeah. Well, he told me he's going to sit it next to Kyle and Bernie Wright's an original art. So I'm like, okay. Really, Bill? Really? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I don't look like a complete hack. <laughs> I keep nailing this microphone with my hat. I have fears I'm out here. It's driving me nuts. Sorry, buddy. You're going to hear a lot of crinkling. Oh. All right. That was interesting. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of detail into this. Yeah, I'm actually going to... Uh, <clears throat> he didn't have it included in his... Uh, commission request, but I'm going to actually put in a COA for each cover. Yeah, we've been.
<clears throat> no pressure. Yeah, thanks, Bill. <laughs> Actually, as soon as you told me that, Bill, it was major pressure. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. <clears throat> Actually, Bill, you were talking about uh, Kyle's work. I was going to show you this. I've actually got some of his originals. Um, and one of them is, it's a non-published original. Um, but it's actually, it's a, I somehow, I don't know if it was from my sister or her ex-husband. Um, I somehow got a copy of like a photocopy of a drawing he did to send to Bernie Wrightson or not Bernie Wrightson, Jimmy Christmas, uh, James of R. Um, basically requesting to do the crow. And I found it when we moved, I decided to scan it, blow it up and ink it. So this is Kyle's work and my inks. Um, absolutely love this. I'm planning on having him sign it and uh, I'm gonna have James Abar sign it as well. So, I figured you might get a kick out of that. There we go. Lock that off down there so it doesn't autofocus all the time. Oh, you have a whole, you have a, a green goblin of his and his lady death as well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got that page, and then I have a page from Venom Unleashed that he did, and uh, one of the Evorani pages as well. And then I've got some other stuff that my sister just recently gave gave to me not too long ago, um, to hold for her kids. Uh, and I can't remember the name. Burning Kiss is the name of the book that he did. So. We've known Kyle for quite a while. He's actually my niece's godfather. Really cool dude. But yeah, definitely send me those pages. I'd love to see them.
<laughs> yeah, that sounds like Kyle. Yeah. Oh, you had Jason ink it? Awesome. Jason's such a cool dude. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Kyle. But the, uh, the Absolute Carnage that he did not too long ago when Absolute Carnage came out. Um, he actually threw it in the trash and his wife is, his wife is the one that saved it out of the trash and then it ends up getting published. So, um, yeah, he's, he's very critical of his work, which I don't understand because he's flipping amazing. I would absolutely love for him to show me his inking techniques that he does. Combo for these, maybe. Actually, Bill, the stuff, what's, uh, what's your favorite book of his? I've always, the stuff that he did for the Eve Orney books, I absolutely love, or that him and Jason did for the Eve Orney books. Um, he actually did a cover for my sister's ex-husband's, um, comic book called Sleepwalking. He did a cover for them that I loved as well. Still humming cutting crows on Mr. Jones. <sighs> Thanks, James. Appreciate that. Now I'm gonna be singing that in my head. But at least there's something up there. <laughs> That song came out when I was in high school, and that's all I heard from all my friends. As soon as it came out, they were all singing Richard Jones and me.
Why won't that song be ever, ever be the same, babe? <clears throat> for you or for me? Sorry, James. I think my wife has said that about me. I'm both a gift and a curse. Dude's got some claws. <laughs> yeah, sure, not you never. All right, I know I'm a pain in the ass sometimes. Bill, I think you're going to have the coolest covers I've ever done. Yep, this is the uh, three-piece connecting. You want to see the rest of it? Uh, give me a minute here. There's the uh, cover one, cover two, and cover three. This will be uh, all of it when it's done. But it's gonna be a while, Bill. I think I, uh, Bit off more than I could chew on this one. That's gonna look cool.
actually. Thank you, James. And if you or any of your friends look or looking for a uh, commission, just let me know. I am accepting them currently. Why is she grabbing about dinner? No, she was just in there getting a snack. Anyone else that wants some kids? <laughs> Our kids are eating eating us out of house and home. I still swear she'd eat the drywall if it tasted good. Probably. <clears throat> Man, I really like the way that hand turned out. Looks pretty sweet. Is that the one you weren't sure about? Yeah. I changed it quite a few times. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> One of ours eats for two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we get to send ours over the over to your house, uh, James. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to need to open up a loan first. For the girl. Yeah, I heard him all the way down here. Yep. Over what? Oh, over the TV. Okay, I thought you meant like RTV, like a RTV video game. Like, what the heck is he playing? That's RTV.
As long as he's quiet, I don't care. other hand here yeah that was a nope I don't think Bill wants you inking him light is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, what got me in there, it was comic books. Um, well that, and my mom used to make cakes all the time when I was younger and she would have me draw up the characters for the cakes before she put them on there. Um, but I've been doing it since I've been doing comic book style since Probably my junior or senior year of high school. Um, that's when I really got into it. Other than that, I've just been self taught. I did like some uh, courses here and there. And had some uh, comic book artists like Kyle has showed me a few things um, when I was younger. Another artist, Jerry Beck, showed me some things. Um, my art teacher in high school. I mean, I've had a lot of people help me out through the years. Do what now? Yeah, I was out of it for quite a while. Um, and just in the past two or three years, I decided to get back into it. Had a lot of help from my, my good friend, Adam Fields. Threw Best some more. Yeah, threw some work my way. Just showed up at a con and showed him some of my work and I've been there, man, ever since. Yep. <laughs> he loved it. Let me use the uh Nua tank, or however the hell you pronounce this thing. Really wish I could figure out how to pronounce this. 
It'd be a lot easier if everything wasn't in Japanese on it. Uh, what made me stop doing comic books is I was at a show, Mid Ohio Comic Con, um, which would, if anybody knows about it, it was probably one of the best comic conventions ever in Ohio. Um, I mean, we have some good ones now, but that, this con was just amazing every year. Um, and I was standing in line talking to Don Simpson, of all people, and uh, his exact words was, this is the last gasp of comics. Um, There's a lot of the artists that day that I talked to that was talking about getting out of comic books and how the industry was just crashing. So I didn't think it'd be a good idea to try and get into the comic book field, uh, knowing that it was kind of going downhill. So I got into graphic design and uh, did that for 22 years, 21 years, something like that. Still doing it, but... um. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> now getting back into it. Uh, you got some Jerry Beck work too, Bill. I would absolutely love to see that. That guy was, he was really good too. Still is. I mean, he's still doing stuff, but he's mainly doing like bodybuilding t-shirts or something like that. He's got like a bodybuilding thing. Bill, do you live in Ohio? Yeah, he lives in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look at the invoice, but I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> oh, yeah, it definitely was. I was there. When the hell was I there? Probably 96 through 98, I believe. Or it might have been 90. I might have went 99 too as well, but I'm not too sure. Um, Love that con. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I was so upset when Wizard bought it and destroyed it. It was funny. My dad picked me up one time. We were standing in front. It was when they. It was the first time that they went to uh, some hotel in, over in Easton. I can't remember the name of it. Isn't it like a Hilton over there? Okay, so it was Hilton. And I'm standing outside talking to Lou Ferrigno, just shooting the shit, talking to him. Really nice guy. And. uh my dad pulls up and picks me up and I get in the car and he looks at me. He was like, was that Lou Ferrigno? <laughs> like, yep. And those were all the cons that I actually seen Bernie Wrightson and didn't talk to him because I was a wuss. Still kick myself in the ass for that. You got your phone next to the interface. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I start hearing static. Mm. 
I'm tired of keep those bugs. It's a berry cow isopod. <laughs> Let's see, she sent me a picture of a baby hissel. Yeah, that's that. Doing sequential art in high school helped me a lot with everything, with painting, with storytelling in general. Um, because you have to use so much of your your brain and figure out, you know, you have to figure out lighting, you have to figure out angles, you have to figure out everything. Um, so that would be definitely a good way to teach kids how to draw, or at least get them started, and then let them go from there. You know, if they want to do oil painting or acrylic or whatever. That's one thing my uh, art teachers that I've had, in, or that I had in high school, uh, Dan Gerderman and uh, Adi Cologne, they both embraced the fact that I loved comic books right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, my my one of my art teachers, uh, Mr. Cologne, one day just knocked on the door, or one day hit me up on Facebook, asked me what my dress was, and I told him, and uh, didn't tell me anything about what he was doing or why he needed it, just asked me my dress. Um, and I was sitting down here talking to my wife one day, and I get a message on Facebook that said, check your front, front porch. So I go out there, and there's a, roll like a tube cardboard tube open it up and there's a print in there uh bernie writes in print signed and numbered and numbered so Our teacher in high school sent me look at thing for his notebook. Yeah. Was that at uh Middle Hog Comic Con Bill? To see the Frank Frenzetta? Because I remember him being there one year, I thought. I just don't remember what year. Robin, who are you on it? My friend Robin. She when we lived at the condo, she lived in when you would turn right and go in that housing development where Go Down is. Yeah. She lived over there. Oh, okay. And then she was like, "Oh, I love Robin." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Robin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't he there one year? Or am I thinking of... No, Joe Jusco was there. <laughs> or one of them. The only place I got sent to is principal. Yeah, I'm about the same, James. Say, he knows the feeling well. I know the feeling of that one. Sometimes it was for his drawings. Yeah.
I had teachers in middle school that called my mom because of the things I was drawing. Yeah, thought I was uh, a little off my rocker, but my mom just laughed about it. She thought it was funny. They knew me in the office. Now my senior year, I had a teacher tell me that to leave, he didn't want to see me the following year. <laughs> <clears throat> How's the Morbius looking, Bill? You liking it so far? I actually really wish somebody would create another con in Columbus. Kind of like mid Ohio comic con was. Cause we don't have really, I mean, as far as big cons and now that wizard isn't coming here anymore. Yeah. Not that anybody went to it, but. Yeah, it was just not good. <laughs> oh, Bill, you are Richard's spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that one. Although I did get most artistic in my senior year book, and that's about it. Morbius rocks. Wizard sucks. <laughs> yep. since I've done anything.
Yeah. That's high school for you. And what do you mean, James? It's been many, many years since you've done anything. Oh, okay. We need to get back into it, James. Do it, James. Do it. I'll answer any questions you have. Yep. I'll tell you in a nice way. Yeah. <laughs> Man, these little curly Q things. I want to, I think I want to do these different. I don't know exactly what to do with them. I'm sorry, do you say something? Yeah, you'll definitely have to get started back up, James. There's a new um, fellow there. Who? Tommy Castello. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. There's a lot of people that if I'd have known then what I know now, my God, Bernie Wrightson being one, I would have definitely had that guy signing everything of mine. <clears throat> as well as doing everything I can to get some of his original works. I, I would absolutely love to have an original Bernie Wrightson. But ever since the, uh, um, I think what's it called? The, it's that one, the one I got the print of. It's on my wedding night or with you on my wedding night. Something like, something like that is the name of it and uh that one actually the original sold for like 1.2 million or something <clears throat> he was a horror artist from chicago amazing person damn fine teacher of the craft I have to check him out. I don't know. No. I don't know if I've ever seen any of his stuff, to be quite honest. Don't kill me for that. Maybe you have and didn't realize it. Yeah, I might have and didn't even realize it.
Actually, Bill, there's one guy that, because uh, my sister brought over some originals of Kyle's, and then she had an original of some other artist, and I had sent a message to Kyle and showed him what piece she actually gave me. And he told me a little bit about the guy, but I don't know of any other stuff that he's done. Can you get my drawer, baby, and get my other portfolio that's in there? But maybe if I show you... Huh? I don't know which drawer it's in. It's in one of them. But if I show you this, you might be able to tell me... Um, you know, who he is and other stuff that he's done because he he does amazing work yep and i need to get a frame for it as soon as possible because of the it got wet and starting to break down it's looking pretty bad figures opening up upside down but it's this piece right here. Now the signature on it is MR. And the cool thing is, is on the back, he actually started a sketch of something else. So I don't know much about this guy. If you know anything, let me know. Yeah, I found a little bit. Kyle had said that he went off to do, he got out of comic books, probably like around the same time I did, to start doing um, storyboards for movies. Here you go, babe. Yeah, Bill, if you know any information about that guy, let me know. Is that your phone or mine? Huh? Oh, are they? How did I think of it? I still have some of what I consider to be my better art pieces from high school. Send them over to me, man. I'll take a look at them. Alrighty, night. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure about it either, and I'll have to message you about it, Bill, because I know Kyle told me the guy's full name. And I looked him up, and there really was no information about him whatsoever. And I guess he was a really good friend of Kyle's. Um, but yeah, he, from what I understand, he got out of comic books and just started doing storyboards.
I think this is close to being done as far as inking goes. Just erase some of this pencil off here. I think as far as putting some splatter effects and stuff like that, I'm going to wait until I get all the the covers inked and then go through and add the splatter effects and certain details. And my cats are rolling around their food bowl. Yeah, it's an electric razor. Um, yeah, it works. It's pretty cool too because you could change the when you're doing pencils if you want to do like um, you know little fine details. 
get one of the smaller ones here. So they have different size tips for the eraser. So here, let me show you. Better to show you than try to explain it to you. So say you have an area that's shaded all black with pencil and you want to add little details in there. All you got to do, this thing's so hard to get out. Go to a fine tip. And you literally draw in details with the eraser. I don't know how well that's coming out on screen, but to give you the idea. So you could literally do cross hatching with the eraser. Actually, need that eraser anyways. Hmm. I'm gonna have to ask Kyle what he uses for an eraser because This seems to be taking the uh, pit pin off. I'll fix that. Oh, I want to hold it closer. Yeah, my uh, desk lights, I have it so bright on my desk because I'm half freaking blind. Um, kind of blows everything out. It's really hard to see the details. Let me fix this here. All right. I think uh, cover one Morbius is done. Well, every time I say that, I find something else. All right. I think he's done. <laughs> you should learn something new every day, James. You're not learning, you're dying. All righty, everybody. Uh, that's it for tonight. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Bill, send me some of that artwork you were talking about. And James, send me some of that artwork you were talking about. Um, and yeah, I should be on here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to get started on... Cover two, which is the Spider-Man. So this one's going to be a, a 
task. But get started on that. And then uh, Saturday we'll have the lizard to do. So thank you guys for watching. Um, remember, if you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you guys ever need anything, just hit me up. Thank you.